Daddy! Hey, Maya! What are you working on? I am doing a sketch for a client that I'm going to do a painting for. How do you like it? Awesome! And I really like how you mix the words with the drawing. Oh yeah, would you like to learn how to do that? Yes! Awesome! Do you want to come? To me, letters are miniature works of art. From our everyday lettering, to the highly recognizable Greek alphabet, to the beautiful shapes of Chinese writing, letters have been expressing mankind's feelings, thoughts, and recorded history for a very long time. So it's no surprise that during this time, art and lettering have gone hand in hand. One of my favorite artists, Jean-Michel Basquiat, was a pioneer using words inside his paintings. Formed as a street artist during rough times in New York City in the 70s and 80s, Basquiat efficiently translated his graffiti writing to the canvas. And then he mastered the technique of combining his colorful and vibrant paintings with powerful social messages using both letters and words. How do you know when to use words in your paintings, Daddy? Well, it's going to depend on what the subject of your painting is and what type of message you're trying to convey. For instance, in this case, my client wanted me to create a painting about their favorite song. It's a love song about a couple where the singer talks about two fish swimming together as a metaphor of the couple's love for each other. I chose to blend the image of the two fish with parts of the written lyrics. When using letters, you must understand what the role of each letter and or word will be within the composition. As you start sketching, you can do a few things. One, write the letters out clearly, in which case you can create a stark contrast between the wording and the image. Or two, you can incorporate them to blend in with the image as to create one common illustration with the word or words. I chose to use a combination of both. I start out by drawing the fish in the middle of the paper to present them as the protagonists of the artwork. Then I follow the negative space around them and fill it with the words to the lyrics. That way I can frame the images and help them stand out even more. This will create a sense of movement where the fish are sort of swimming in a sea of words, making the imagery a lot more interesting than just writing out the words. The black letters will provide a clear contrast to the fish and the lyrics will be easy to read, allowing the clients to relive their song every time they look at the painting. Yet the elaborate calligraphy and the addition of colors will also help me blend them with the rest of the composition. When working on custom works like this one, I always ask my clients what color palette they are drawn to. They live in Florida, so they wanted bold, bright colors. How do you know what type of letters to use? <laughs> Good question, Maya. The type of letters or font that you use depends mainly on what the theme of the work of art is and the artist's own personal style. We have a whole video on art style, so if you want to watch it later, we're going to leave a link up top and on the description box below. My style is kind of whimsical. So the lettering is playful and fun. I like to mix the small and the capital letters to break the monotony, as well as add more elaborate tales to the end letters in some words. Remember, this is a painting, not an actual letter. So have fun and experiment with different styles. This particular piece has lots of lettering because it's meant to be the lyrics of a song. But in some cases, the addition of words is going to be strategic or even incidental. Choose words that have meaning to you 
and help give emphasis to the message you are trying to convey in your work. Play around with different words you like, as well as different styles and fonts. The more unique they are to you, the better. And just remember, there is no right or wrong, just a difference in the way we all express ourselves. Working letters into this particular piece helped me a great deal in creating something special for a loving couple, memorializing their favorite song. Letters and words are beautiful in their own right. And when used within the concept of a work of art, they can enhance it by working in unison with your drawings or paintings by adding that extra element and expressing the deepest of feelings. There are many artists who have used words in their work. Look them up and get inspired. I know deep down inside you have a lot to say. That was great, Daddy. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I am going to experiment on letters and words on my next paintings. Awesome. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And please remember to punch that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications when our next video is about to come out. See you next time. Bye!